stop, look back down into the goldfish bowl, we don't turn the salt. We climb the wall at Bell's Field and there before us, a world framed by the salt and pepper cellars of the belfries of St Anne's and the North Cathedral. My eyes embrace the beautiful north side laid out before us like a kitchen table at Christmas time, cram packed with dainties and delights, stretching as far as the eye can see and vanishing over the hill at Blarney Street in Napnehini. Breathe it in, I say. I was reading from my two most recent books, Clasp, which is a collection of poems in English, and Ire, which is a collection of poems in Irish. And um, I tried to choose poems, I suppose, that were suited to the cityscape of Cork. I used to live very close to St. Angeles, where the reading was on, so it was really exciting for me to be back in that place where I wrote a lot of the poems and to read them to the audience in the place where they were originally written. Rush hour. I know the pedestrian light is in your favour and you must go and go now, but I want to linger just a little longer in your embrace at the corner of Washington Street and South Main Street. I want to kiss each individual hair of your head from root to tip while the lights change and change again and the city grinds to a shuddering halt and the sky tilts over to reveal teeming constellations utterly silent, unbearably distant. ambitious environmental works. One beneath the ocean, spanning a 30,000 meter stretch of the coastline of Japan, another along 10,000 meters of the Gobi Desert, beginning where the Great Wall finishes. The series is called Project for Extraterrestrials. Julie Goo. Uh, I'm going to go out of my comfort zone, which I actually think is in fact my comfort zone being outside it, and do this to a hip-hop track for the first time. It's called Jesus, Mary and Joe Duffy. Mm -hmm. 